and you're not choosing. Instead, what we're doing, we're reading from a script that was passed to us by our parents and our peer. Well intentioned, they thought it was the best. But so much of what's in this script, we would never choose. We wouldn't choose to beat ourselves up like we do. We wouldn't make it so difficult to access the feelings that we already own and that we long for. We wouldn't have things in there that says, well, first of all, you've got to be a certain shape to be pretty. You've got to have a certain number in the bank account. Think about it with, with our children, yeah? Whether you've got children or not, you imagine if you've got a child, and your child comes up to you and says, Mummy, Daddy, you know, what do I need to be successful? Well, you're going to say to that little child, well, just be, just be yourself, darling. Just be who, who you already are. You know, if you, we've, we've got this saying that we use in the word that we do, you know, that says, well, you know, I am there. You know, um, and people go, Whew, so you're there already. Well, you imagine little Jimmy or Susie again, your child comes up to you, says, Mummy or Daddy, what do I need to be there? Again, you're not going to say, well, you need to go out and, and conquer companies. You, you're a little sweetie, but I'm sorry, my dear, you're, you're, you're the wrong shape. You need to be a different shape, or you need more money, more pennies in your piggy bank. You're not going to say that. You're going to say that you've already got it, and there's the clue to who you really are. You know, I've got a great question that I, that I ask people. This is powerful. And it's a two-part question, and then you add the two answers up. And the first part of the question is, is how far does your potential go? And then people say, well, it just goes on forever. It's, it's limitless, limitless or it's, it's, it's infinite. I say, correct, I agree. Right, so we've got infinite or limitless, yeah? That's the answer to the first question. Second question, when did your potential start? Uh, well, it's always been there, my potential. So, okay, so your potential's already been there. Add those two together, and what we're really saying there then is that you already are Position like a lot of personal development, there's something wrong with you and you need fixing. We're, we're coming from the point not only do you not need fixing, in reality, you're a superhero. And if you doubt that for a minute, you know, go and read some of the stories about people that, when they've been in a life threatening situation, or especially when someone that they love, their lives have been threatened, watch how they've gone beyond the script and done super, super human feats. I mean, you know, the, 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 there's, so, there's so much do well documented evidence the fact that we're all capable of doing this, but normally when there's a disaster. What I'm saying to you now is, what if it didn't need to be a disaster? What if there's another way of accessing the superhero? What if there's another way of going beyond the script? There is. And it's through awareness. It's through discovering your purpose. Well, you've only got one purpose. I ask people what their purpose is. And I say, oh, I want to go and build orphanages around the world. I want to go and see these, you know, save all these people. It's fantastic. Let me ask you this question. Who is this going to save most people? Superman or Clark Kent? Who is it that jumps out the window? Superman or Clark Kent? You've probably heard the saying, you know, it's, 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 it's very popular saying, you know, that if you want to save the people on the plane, you put your oxygen mask on first. In other words, what your purpose is, first of all, fundamentally, before you want to go out and save the world, is to be who you really are. And of course, for most people, they don't know who they really are. And they're never going to know who they really are because they think they're the script. So it's totally impossible because the script is totally limiting. The script is doing just what it's supposed to do. So you don't change the script. You know, I go in my script. I click, click in and out my script. How do you know if you're in your script or not? The barometer is your feeling. If you're feeling good, then you're choosing. If you're not feeling good, you've just answered the question, you know. You're not choosing to feel good. That's the whole point of it, that, that we're not choosing. So you just notice whether you're feeling good, feeling off. Feeling good, you're out of the script. Feeling not feeling good, you're in the script. It's as simple as that. You don't need to change it. See, this is where the civil war happens. Yeah, this is where it happens. This is where we've got conflict. To say, I shouldn't be doing this, I should be doing this, I shouldn't be doing that. And we don't work on that level. on the level of behaviour, you change it on the level of consciousness. You don't change the tide standing in the sea, you have to go to the moon. That's a brilliant example of changing behaviour. When you get it on a consciousness level, that's when 
you know, they, they, they've had all the emotional blackmail, the family's left, they've lost some money, they've lost their business, none of that did it. One day something clicked for them, and that's the level that we're working on, but I can assure you, it's not on the level of behaviour, and it's not in the script.